All right. Okay, tonight uh, we're going to use a PLC, Siemens PLC S7200 to control two pumps, a three phase pump and a single, play, uh, single phase fan that simulate a three phase pump right here. Both of them are driven by two magnetic starters, three phase magnetic starter and single phase magnetic starter. We also do have um, power, 240 coming to the system. We have a safety circuit with a, an emergency main contact here, on off to start the control circuit right in here. And, um, and my PLC is S7200 to drive, to drive my, uh, my two pumps, pump number one, pump number two. Uh, this system, the way this system, if you come over here, Tim, the, the way this system is gonna work, we have an, um, a brushless, we have a, an off, an off switch for the system. We have a pressure switch that's going to control the two pumps. We can either put them in, in manual or we can put them in auto, uh, uh, one at a time manual or we can put them in auto. If we put the system in auto, it will alternate between pump number one and pump number two using a timer over here and a control relay. All these timers are internally into the PLCs. These coils are driven by the PLCs as we said over here. We did program it using uh, S7200 and we end up here we end up here with five inputs if uh, our five inputs are coming from right here from all these switches that simulate the main switch the uh, pressure switch and manual first pump auto and manual second pump we have a three four lights over here that simulates the on off um, for this for, for the pumps as we're going to see so this program has been done and downloaded. If you can over here, come Tim. There's our so uh, software already over here, and we are downloading. We did download the software into um, the program into the PLCs right in here. So let's go ahead and start. Now we are going to start right now. I'm going to put the system in manual. So my uh, first of all, we're going to turn the system on. My disconnect safety disconnect switch. I want to go and put the control circuit in. My control circuit is energized, my PLC is energized, everything is ready to go. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my on off for the system on. And the second thing, I'm gonna put my pressure switch on, so meaning we have, we have to start the pumps. And my manual switch, I'm gonna put pump number one on manually. So pump number one on manually, so, and at the same time, Light, a light will come on tell, telling us that pump number one is on manually, on manually. So pump number one is on manually. You can see here, Tim. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn pump number one on manually. So pump number one is off. And I'm gonna go put pump number two manually, meaning I'm gonna select to run pump number two manually. That's represented by switch number five over here. So I don't know if you can hear this one, pump number two, or the fan that represents pump number two is on manually. So I can go off, on. You can see another light comes over here to tell us that pump number two is on manually, on manually. Okay, let's go pump number one again, on manually with a light, an indicating light, off manually. Pump number two, on manually. Pump number two, on manually. Oh, the pressure switch, I'm sorry. I turn the pressure switch on. My pressure switch is on. Let's go turn pump number one off. And let's put number two on, and the light will come on here. So anyway, this is my manual. Manual control for pump number one. This is my manual control for pump number two. And you can see over here. All right, so that's, that's the component, the manual component um, that's coming, bypassing all this control system, going directly to pump number one or directly to pump number two. Now the next, the next part is gonna go, we're gonna put the system in auto, and we're gonna circulate pump number one and pump number two. So to put the system in auto, I wanna turn switch number four, which represents the auto in my PLC input here, on. When I turn on, pump number one should come on. Pump number one. Pump number one should come on. Pump number 
the timer was on. Alright, here we go. Put my system in simulation. Okay, let's go one more time. Turn my pressure switch off. System is off. I want to put my system in auto. And I want to put you see the status of my control switch. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my system in auto and turning the pressure switches on. So pump number one is on. Pump number one is on. Okay. Pump number one is on. When the pressure switch is turned off, pressure switch is turned off. And when I come back, pump number two should come on. Pump number two should come on. And if you can see, there's a light over here to indicate that pump number two is on coming from auto. So this is auto pump number one. Auto pump number one. And my simulation over here says that my control relay is off. All right. We're good. I'm going to turn my pressure off. And when I come back, Pump number one should come on. Pump number one should come on. And I'm looking at my timer over here when it times out. I will time out over here if you know. So a shot right here, Tim. So here's my timer. My control relay is energized. Now if I go back, if I go back, Tim here, and ask for more, my pressure switch come on. Pump number two should come on. There you go. So anyway, so that's our class, our uh, class for the night. Basically circulating two pumps, alternating two pumps to go on and off. Um, either auto or you can select them individually to go on and off. And that will simulate basically a lift station, two pumps lift stations that can work um, together for uh, redundancy, reliability of the system and at the same exercising to these two lift stations or well houses, uh, uh, pumps or so forth. And that's it for tonight. Thank you, Tim.